Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and go to the official website of Kali Linux and download the ISO file for your device and once you have downloaded the ISO file go to another tab and go to the official website of Rufus and download the latest version of Rufus. After you have downloaded both files, close your web browser and you need to insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make sure to backup pen drive data before proceeding because it will wipe all the pen drive data and after that go to your downloads folder and open Rufus. Now select the Kali Linux ISO file which you just downloaded. Select the partition scheme as GPT and click on start. Now this process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part. Now once the process is completed, close Rufus and close everything. Now right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now once disk management is open, you need to right click on any local disk and select shrink volume now you need to give at least 20 GB of space for Kali Linux but I recommend giving more than that so after creating free space you need to close disk management and we need to now reboot our computer and boot from the USB of Kali Linux now click on restart now while your computer is showing your motherboard logo or your vendor logo you need to press F2 key to enter a BIOS menu and once you are inside the BIOS menu you need to make sure that the secure boot is disabled if you don't know how to do this then you can search a guide online and follow that one now once secure boot is disabled press F10 key to save and exit BIOS menu now while your computer is rebooting press escape key or F12 key to open the boot menu device and you need to select the USB option to boot into Kali Linux USB once you are booted into Kali Linux USB you need to select the first option which says graphical install now it will open up Kali Linux installation first it will ask us to select a language you can choose English and you can select your location and then your keyboard layout Now for the network if you have Wi-Fi connection you need to select WLAN 0 and it will ask you to choose the Wi-Fi network you need to choose your Wi-Fi and give your Wi-Fi password. Now enter host name, your domain name and a user name and full name for your account. Now for the clock you need to select your correct time zone. Now for partitioning disks you need to select manual and here you need to locate the free space which we created on windows. As you can see this is my 20 GB of free space that I created from windows. Now you need to select that free space 
and you will be presented with few options now you need to select automatically partition the free space choose the first option which is all files in one partition now select the last option which says finish partitioning and right changes to disk and click on continue and click on yes now it will make partitions now for the software selection you need to choose your desktop environment so for the video i'm going to choose xfce and i'm going to uncheck the below option to make installation faster but you can check those options if you want the Kali Linux tools. Now it will start installing Kali Linux and its tools. So, and this can take some time so I'm going to fast forward this process. Finally the installation is completed. Now it is asking us to remove our pen drive and clicking continue. So, so do what it says. So first of all remove your pen drive and then click on continue. And after that it will automatically boot into Kali Linux where we can see the grub menu to choose between operating system so if you don't see this grub menu then you need to go into your boot menu and select Kali Linux as the top priority so now every time you start your computer you will see this grub menu so you have the option to choose between Kali Linux and Windows so first of all I'm going to choose Kali Linux So as you can see we have successfully booted into Kali Linux. Now let's try to reboot into Windows to check if our Windows is working properly or not. So as you can see. So I am selecting Windows Boot Manager from the grub menu to boot into Windows. So as you can see I am also able to boot into Windows 11 without any issues. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.